Thank you all for, for coming. Um, uh, one late Friday evening uh, in April, I received a phone call from a colleague of mine in the news business in Nigeria who says to me that he had been asked by friends in government to call me uh, to explore the possibility of uh, killing a story that we were planning to publish uh, that very weekend, which was uh, an exploration of the rather blatant way in which people, uh, government officials seek bribe and in which uh, willing accomplices in the oil industry pay these bribes. Um, and they said that, you know, this story is worth $20 million to you if you uh, kill it. And there will be other stories, uh, so there was absolutely no reason for us to do it. So I laughed, and I uh, told uh, this fellow uh, that uh, I'm sure that before he made the call, he already assumed what my answer was going to be. And therefore, there was no need to give the answer except to say, being very fair-minded, even to bribe takers and bribe givers, uh, we will publish willingly whatever they consider to be their side of the story. But we were not in the business of killing stories, uh, quite the contrary. This particular story about the oil industry involved uh, our oil minister uh, uh, specifically asking uh, oil industry players to, to pay bribes by the tonnage uh, for the petroleum products that they were uh, allowed to import in the country. And what made this particularly dangerous for us was that for the first time we were now beginning to go into a heart of darkness in Nigeria, which is the extreme corruption uh, in the oil industry, uh, which is the center of all things that had stopped the country from living up to its potential. And this was the first time that they really began to try to clamp down on us, not by holding a gun to our heads, though they uh, used the police to harass our editors and our reporters, uh, and they occasionally will send uh, gunmen in the middle of the night to try and enter our offices. But they didn't actually threaten to shoot us, but they just thought perhaps we would be scared easily and uh, move on to other things. But this was the first time they thought, finally, these guys are not going to be reasonable. We are in the business of being unreasonable because you have about 160 million people who are essentially held hostage by a system that does not work for them, but works for only uh, a handful who have managed to corner all the country's resources and are pre trying to prevent uh, about a fifth of uh, African peoples from getting ahead uh, in an atmosphere of extreme poverty and want. And uh, we just felt that what we had to do simply was to uh, make sure that they at least could not do this in the dark. And that's all that we can do. Uh, since April, since that April night, we've uh, gone through a rather uh, traumatic uh, experience of watching our finances uh, dwindle rapidly and laying off people and stopping the print edition and staying alive online and looking for other ways to make sure that we can perpetuate this experiment that we began in Nigeria, which is simply to uh, tell the truth. That was what proved to be revolutionary in our environment, the simple act of telling the truth, which was what we always were uh, admonished to do when I was growing up in a little university town in western Nigeria in the early and mid-60s. So we were not doing anything that we hadn't done before. It was simply that the country got away from us and everything was going down. I chose to go back home. Uh, I'd been leaning towards going back home after so many years here in this great city and working with so many wonderful people, some of whom are here tonight, I decided that it was time for me to go home, but I didn't quite know how. And I was casting about for the right thing to do. It was only uh, in early 2005 when Isaac Shongwe, who's uh, an Aspen trustee and is also here tonight, gave me a call in Johannesburg where I had just then moved my family to say he wanted me to be part of this Aspen thing. I said, what is this Aspen thing? 
And uh, one thing led to the other, and it became the final catalyst that served the great purpose of giving me the courage to make the decision that I always wanted to make, but which I was trying to uh, delay the, uh, the evil day, um, uh, so to speak, because it was not going to be an easy thing. I tell people that I moved back to Lagos, a teeming metropolis of maybe 17, 18, 20, 21 million people, nobody quite knows how many people, uh, not for lifestyle reasons, because you couldn't live in Lagos if you uh, were looking for the easy life. You go back to Lagos, Nigeria, in the heart of Africa, uh, if you had not been living there for many years, as uh, was my case, because you thought that there was work to do, and you've had friends and uh, accomplices and mentors and uh, uh, various other people who uh, finally just give you the little nudge that it was time to do it. So what this prize has done for us, as I got a call uh, uh, one afternoon a few weeks ago from Anne McNulty, Anne says to me, uh, Dele, I just want to say congratulations. I think we've all settled unanimously on you being the winner of this year's McNulty Prize. And I was saying to myself, she can't be for real, because by then we were actually quite broke. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so this was a great opportunity to uh, 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 reassure ourselves that there is still a little bit of life left in us and that we were going to find a way out of this. So this $100,000 that we're getting from Anne and her wonderful family and uh, wider Aspen Institute family uh, goes uh, in a very timely fashion to uh, rebuilding our capacity to do those great investigative uh, work, uh, the great investigations that our reporters have been doing uh, so that we can continue and uh, buy us ourselves some time that we may get to a point where next becomes viable and self-perpetuating and I can happily retire and go play golf somewhere. Um, so I just want to thank you very much uh, for being here and to thank the McNulty family and uh, the Aspen Institute. Thank you very much.